a golden opportunity. That's what Matt and Jessica Hanslick found, not in the pasture, but in the hen house. Egg farms near their hometown of Hallettsville were changing the way they housed their chickens, moving from wet manure pits to dry manure belts. And this eventually led Matt back to the farm full time. I'm a fifth generation farmer and rancher. I grew up on the farm, watching my dad and granddad farm. It's a passion, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I had a full-time job with an energy company. When I started the litter business on the side just for myself, it wasn't enough to support me, but once more and more volume and production came on, I was able to take the transition and go in it full time. Now Matt and Jessica partner with Matt's dad and brother, recycling the dry manure and custom applying it to farms and ranches, providing an all natural fertilizer to farmers in South Texas, including themselves. Once I started using it, I've seen an improvement in my soil quality. It's really helped me get the micronutrients and the organic matter established and I've really seen an improvement with the yields. They started picking up the litter at one chicken house in 2013. Now three years later, they recycle almost 18,000 tons of manure a year from 12 different houses. They've seen firsthand the benefits the litter brings to the soil, and farmers in the area have taken notice. The way we expanded is a lot of the farmer and ranchers caught wind of it, literally, and saw the results and they, they really liked it, so they wanted to get some for their own property. Jessica was raised in the city, but in FFA she discovered a zeal for agriculture, especially chickens. Now she is a regional sales manager for a local shell egg farm, the same farm where they get the litter. Customers at the grocery store continue to want different options in their eggs. For egg farms, that means more laying houses, and for the Hanslicks, that means more manure, as well as an increasing demand for this alternative to liquid fertilizer. All this adds up to promising possibilities. Matt and I are really excited about the future. Um, there's going to be two more houses built here, which will be about 6,000 more tons of manure that we'll get per year. We're looking for ways to expand, be more innovative. We're looking into a drying, pelletizing, and bagging system that we can expand our business and tap into more niche markets. Matt and Jessica believe in diversity. Along with the litter, they also raise corn and hay. Feral hog damage has forced them to convert more and more of their corn acres into hay fields, but the litters help them increase yields on both commodities. They also raise cattle, both commercial and purebred. Two years ago, he started building a herd of registered Charlets, selling the bulls to local ranchers and using the heifers to replace his older cows. With today's changing economy, I feel it's very important to be as diversified as possible. When one market is down, another might be up. With the litter, we've been able to cut costs in places and be more efficient. Matt serves on the Lavaca County Farm Bureau Board with his dad. Jessica helps with their local 4-H and FFA and is a member of the Texas Beef Council running team. They are both on the TFB Young Farmer and Rancher Committee and are active in other ag organizations and their church. The couple loves agriculture and enjoys sharing that love with others, especially their newest ranch hand, Blakely. At less than a year old, she has a lot to learn about agriculture, lessons Matt and Jessica are excited to teach. Having the opportunity to raise your kids on a farm is something that's very rewarding. Allowing them to be included and understand the process of how things are grown. Growing up on a farm has really taught me the value of hard work, and I think it's something that I want my kids to understand and appreciate when they get older. 